if you're a real DC fan, then this video will probably be a great melody for your ears. Are you ready? What do you think about a Lobo solo movie and Jason Momoa in the role of the lead character? If this sounds intriguing enough, stay with me until the end as I have some really interesting news to share with you. Let's jump in with a short origin story. As the new boss James Gunn starts getting his house in order, there have been some big changes in store for the DC Extended Universe, and Jason Momoa is rumored to be in line for a new job in the shuffle for another iconic character. Lister, there are a lot of wild rumors flying around, and we have to take everything with a pinch of salt since we have relatively few hard facts, so until we get a formal announcement, nothing is sure. While most of the information related to the Lobo solo movie is rumors, I might have something more interesting to share with you. It is said that Michael Bay, the prolific action director, is being eyed to direct his first ever superhero movie, and that will be the one we're talking about right now. This movie should be an answer to Deadpool made by DC and Warner Bros. And this info is coming from the insiders, shared the rap exclusively. There's been a discussion between Bay and DC, and the director wants to include Jason Fuchs, the Wonder Woman writer, to be incorporated into a rewrite. The rap reported last year that Fuchs is already working on the script. But before I keep going with the progress of the movie, I'd like to stop a little bit and talk about the character for a moment. Who is Lobo? I killed every living thing on Zarnia for fun. I killed Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and things that don't even exist. And so help me, I tried to follow the triple fold path of peace. I tried my best, but frag me for a bastard. Even I got limits. Yeah, exactly. This is the right sentence to describe Lobo as a character. He is the last Sarnian, an intergalactic bounty hunter. Known for his rapid regeneration and colorful speech, he has been a nuisance more than a threat. His name has a special meaning. It comes from a Kung dialect, which means one who devours your entrails and thoroughly enjoys it. As I mentioned before, he is the last of his people. And do you know why? Well, he killed them all. The planet Zarnia, which he hailed from, was a virtual paradise, and war was an unknown world for this place. In fact, the Zarnians were almost immortal, but everything changed after he was born. His evil was so frighteningly apparent since his youngest age. He was so awful that the nurse who delivered him went insane. Infant Lobo chewed off four of her fingers. He also wanted more, even though he was aware that he was one of a kind. So, Lobo hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really. He created a swarm of lethal scorpion-like creatures, inspired by the idea of genocide, and he set them on his people, wiping out his entire species. Ever since then, Lobo has traveled the galaxies collecting bounties, but despite all that, he has a straight code of honor when it comes to these agreements. In his capacity as a bounty hunter, he played an important role in the Citadel War. He was hired by Harry Hockham, the Citadel's human agent, and his only task was to capture Callista, the Euphorian. Along with Berserk and Bedlam, his fellow bounty hunters, he raided the mothership belonging to the Omega Men. Soon after that, he got another task from Harry, and this time to assassinate Tigger, the Omega Men's interim leader. The backstory of the character is extremely rich, so it's not a secret where the idea for a solo movie comes from. Now, let's speak about the future plans. What is interesting about Lobo's case, an official release date hasn't been announced yet, but we definitely heard a lot about the possible cast members. In fact, the loudest rumors are related to the lead character. From the moment we found out that Lobo is a priority for Gunn's DC Studios, a speculation started growing that intergalactic bounty hunter will be played by none other than Jason Momoa. Ever since he teased that Peter Safran and Gunn are baking one of his DCU dreams, many have been speculating about what project it might be. Gunn shared an image of Lobo on his new Mastodon profile, not long after Momoa made those comments, which only fueled debates that perhaps the two events are somehow connected. Soon after all this, Momoa had an interesting interview with CBR, in which he was asked to clarify what is actually going on. Well, I have to obviously blink, so there's no way I can get out of this without blinking. 
but you know, that would be amazing if that happened. I'm just happy that James Gunn is at the helm and Peter Safran, who is just like my heart. So I'm in good hands, and I think comic book fans around the world are going to be very excited. Anyway, here's one totally legit question. What will happen to Aquaman if Momoa takes the role of Lobo? Have you thought of that? Well, actually, there is a way where Momoa would smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, there is a way where Momoa could take the role of Lobo, the beloved alien bounty hunter, while also starring as Aquaman in the Justice League-based universe. I know, this sounds confusing, especially if we take in mind that over the years, DC used to set up continuities that stand on their own rather than tied into the DCU. From Todd Phillips' Joker franchises to Matt Reeves' The Batman, these series have allowed new takes on the characters, which allow us to say they do not conflict with anything that is going on in the DCU. Momoa could easily star as Lobo in a standalone universe, assuming that Saffron and Gunn will keep investing in franchises that can exist outside the DCU. It would definitely be an issue if the hypothetical Lobo project was taking place in the DCU. That would have been something that could prevent Momoa from playing this character while also serving as Aquaman. Lobo has barely gotten a chance to appear in live action. Outside of Emmett J. Scanlon's portrayal on sci-fi's short-lived Krypton TV show, if we can even call that an appearance. Hopefully, we won't have to wait for too long until Momoa's dream DCU project gets clarified. Well, everyone knows I'm a comic book fan. The comic I collected the most, and I have every comic there is. You can do your research and find out what it is, said the actor for comic book. Many actors have wanted to take on the role of Lobo in the past decade. It seems like they saw this character as a chance to get into the superhero world, which, by the way, became the highest goal to reach in the past 10 years. It is true that Emmett J. Scadlam did play Lobo in the short-lived Krypton series, and there were rumors of a spin-off that never materialized. There is, however, one more name of a high-profile actor that was connected with this character, and that is Dean Morgan. In fact, the actor himself had a few statements related to Lobo. The only one I want to play is DC and Lobo. He's a badass. Lobo would be very cool. I don't think I'm as big as Lobo is, but if you could transplant Mickey Rourke's body on my head, that would be just great, said the actor a couple of years ago. To be quite honest, what gives me hope is James Gunn's name written on this project. He made Aquaman and The Flash possible after all. Either way, whoever takes Lobo's burden, I just hope that we'll hear some official information about the release date soon. And what about you? Who do you think is the best match for Lobo? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.